Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss how to find the next greater node in linked list. So for each node in the linked list, we need to find the value of the next greater node. So which means for each node, we have to find the value of the first node that is to the right of it and has a larger value than it. Let's take few examples to understand the problem statement. So we have this linked list. So we need to return an integer array which contains the value of the next greater node for each node. So if we consider the first node 2, the value greater than 2 and to the right of 2 is 5. If we take 1, the value next to it and which is greater than 1 is also 5. And if we consider the last node 5, so there is no node which is next to it. So since there is no greater node, we will return 0. So the answer for this linked list will be 550. So this is the array that we will return for this linked list. Let's take one more example. So now we have this linked list. So for 2, the next greater value is 7. If we take 7, so there is no value to the right of it which is greater than 7. So we'll return 0 for 7. For 4, we have the value 5 which is to the right of 4 and is greater than 4. For 3 also, value 5 is right to it and is greater than it. And for 5, since there is no value next to it, will return 0. So the answer for this will be 70550. So we will return this array for the linked list 27435. Let's take one more example. So let's say we have this linked list which has head at 1. So for 1, the value which is right to it and is greater than 1 is 3. For 3, the value which is right to it and greater than 3 is this value 8. For 2, we have 3 which is greater than it. For 1, we have 3. And for 3, we have 8. And there is no value next to 8. So we'll return 0. So the answer for this will be 3833380. Now once you've understood the problem statement, let's see how we can solve this. So one trivial implementation is that for each node, we can traverse all the nodes which are to the right of it and find the next greater node. So for 2, we'll traverse the linked list 7435, for 7, we'll traverse 435, for 4, we'll traverse 35, and for 3, we'll traverse 5. So this is a very basic implementation, but the issue here is that if the linked list is huge, we might need to traverse a lot of elements to reach the next greater node. So in this case, the time complexity can reach up to order of n square because for each node, we'll need to traverse until we find a next greater node. So let's see whether we can improve the time complexity to less than order of n square. So this is clear that for each node, we need to traverse the elements which are to the right of it. So for three, we need to traverse five, for 4, we need to traverse 3, 5. For 7, we need to traverse 4, 3, 5. So some elements will be traversed here repeatedly. So if we start to find the next greater node from the end, then we won't need to traverse these elements again. So let's say we reverse this linked list. So we'll have 5, 3, 4, 7, and 2. So this is the reversed link list. So once we have reversed the link list, if we keep the elements in a stack and we compare the node with the elements in the stack, then we can find out which is the next greater node. So because for element 4, the next greater elements will be among these 5 and 3, which we have already traversed. So if we store these elements in a stack, and when we reach 4, we can just 
compare with the elements on the stack we can find out which is the next letter element for 4 let's see step by step how we can achieve this so the first step is we create a new stack and then we reverse the linked list then we start the traversal from head of the linked list and we check if the stack is empty so stack is empty that means this is the first element so if this is the first element we can add 0 to the result which means there is no greater element than this element so for 5 we add 0 to the result so let's say this is our result array that we have to return then we push the value of head to stack so we push 5 in the stack and we make head to point to next node so head comes at 3 then in the next iteration we again check if stack is empty so stack is not empty we come to the else part and now we compare the top of the stack with the head value so top of the stack is 5 which is greater than head value so which means for this node 3 5 should be the output because 5 is the node which is greater than it so we add stack top to the result so for 3 5 will be the result and then we push value of head to the stack so we push 3 in the stack and we proceed head to the next node so head comes at 4 in the next iteration we check if stack is empty so stack is not empty we check a stack top is greater than head value so stack top is 3 and head value is 4 so this is not true so we come to the else part and we pop from the stack so this means that for value 4 this value 3 which is on top of the stack so this is not useful because this is less so in the else part we pop 3 from the stack we do not increment the head pointer and we go in the next iteration we check if stack is empty so stack is not empty now we check if stack top which is 5 is greater than the head value so this is true which means for this value 4 5 should be the result and then we push this value 4 in the stack and we move head to the next pointer so head comes at 7 in the next iteration we check if stack is empty this is not true we come to the else part and we check if stack top is greater than head value so stack top is 4 we check if it is greater than 7 so this is false so we come to the else part and we pop from the stack so now we are popping 4 from the stack because for the linked list element 7 this 4 is not useful because it is less than 7 so we popped 4 and we now again come to the next iteration and we check if stack is empty and then we check stack top 5 is greater than the head value which is 7 so this is also not true so this value 5 is also not useful so we come in the else part and we remove 5 from the stack so the stack becomes empty and now in the next iteration we again check if stack is empty so now we append 0 to the result so for value 7 there is no value which is greater than it so, so we append 0 to the result and we push head value which is 7 in the stack and then we move head to the next pointer which is at 2 in the next iteration we check if stack is empty then we check if stack top which is 7 is greater than head value so this is true so which means for this node 7 should be added to the result and then we push this value in the stack so 2 is added in the stack and then we move head to the next pointer so next of 2 is null so head becomes null so in the next iteration we check if head is not equal to null so now head is null so this while loop terminates and then we need to reverse the result because in the starting we reversed the linked list so the result that we have obtained now which is 05507 5, so this is in reverse order so if we reverse this we'll get 70550 so this is the final output for the next creator node for each of the nodes in the linked list 
So in the first step, we reverse the linked list, then we traverse the linked list, and based on these three if-else conditions, we either pop from the stack or push from the stack and append to the result. So once the linked list is traversed, we reverse the result. So once we have reversed the output array, this will be our final answer. If we talk about the time complexity of this method, so the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is also order of n because we are maintaining an external stack. So by using some extra space, we have reduced the time complexity from order of n square to order of n. So once you have understood the algorithm, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository, link of which is present here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, first I create both the linked list, which I've shown on the left side. Then I pass the head of the linked list to this function, next larger nodes. In this function, next larger nodes, first I reverse the linked list. So this code for reverse a linked list, I have explained in my previous videos. I will link that in the top right corner. You can have a look there. So once I have reversed the linked list, I start traversing the list starting from the head. Then I check these three conditions, whether the stack is empty or the stack top is greater than head or the else condition. So based on these conditions, I either append to the result or I pop from the stack. So once the linked list is fully traversed, I have the output array, but this output array is in reverse order. So at the end, I reverse this output array and I return the array from this function. And in the main function, I print the output array. Let's see the output of this program. So the next larger nodes for the linked list 215 are 550 and for the linked list 2, 27435. The next larger nodes are 70550. So this problem is also available on lead code as question number 1019, next larger node in linked list. I pasted the same code here and it is success. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.